All right, good evening, Buckeye Nation. Christine Varconi back here in our digital streaming studio. If you are joining us on NBC4i.com or our Facebook page, let us know down in the comments where you are watching from. I am joined right now by Coach Bill Conley as well as Justin Holbrock. He is in Arizona traveling with the team right now. Um, we're actually going to go straight out to Justin. And uh, Justin, what's going on? What's the vibe out there? And um, it's it's we've done it we've seen a quick change recently it was a Ohio yeah. State dominant game and now Clemson has kind of come back with the two touchdowns yeah yeah no you're absolutely right that first quarter it was completely dominated by Ohio State you know they didn't give up any points to Clemson Clemson only had 77 yards in that first quarter and then on the other side Ohio State was driving the ball at will on the Tigers. I mean, J.K. Dobbins had 141 yards in the first quarter alone. To put that in perspective, he averages 140 yards a game. So he had that in the first 15 minutes. So obviously the rushing attack was working. Justin Fields, 120 some yards passing. No interceptions, no fumbles. So a very clean game for both teams. But the difference was the Tigers gaining some momentum going into halftime. So the other thing is Ohio State, they're not scoring touchdowns inside the red zone. They've had three trips inside the 20, and all three times they've had to settle for three points for a field goal. So, yeah, they had that long touchdown, 68 yards from Dobbins. He also had a 64-yard rush, which gives him the all-time single-season record passing Eddie George. So quite an accomplishment, but Ohio State, they have to be feeling maybe a little bit nervous now because they didn't capitalize on some of those touchdowns they could have had, and now Clemson has snuck its way back into the game 16-14 to 14 at halftime. Like you said, we're joined by Coach Conley back there with you. So coach, my question for you is when Ohio State gets back into that red zone, which I'm sure they will in the second half, what's it going to take to actually well, get a touchdown? Actually, we could have, Justin, we could have had two touchdowns, uh, passes to J.K. Dobbins, one on the swing pass out of the backfield and then one on the screen pass, but he just simply couldn't haul it in and so lost control of that. But uh, obviously they, had, they were good play calls for sure. But we got we to gotta put it in because that's something we've been good at all year is getting touchdowns in the red zone, just not points. And so I think it's very, very important that we get the ball in the end zone because this team is uh, – Clemson is just – you know, they're too good. They're too talented to let them live on the edge like that. Like you said, we knew Clemson would score at some point. So how can Ohio State maybe get some momentum back and prevent them from, you know, adding on to what they already have using that second half, using that momentum in the second quarter into well, the, the second thing, half? Well, the one thing, our running game uh, kind of dropped off in the second quarter, which is really important. And then with J.K. Getting, JK getting his ankle, you know, twisted up a little bit. I don't think that's going to be an issue. He'll be fine, but we've got to get back to control in the line of scrimmage. And defensively, if you look at the situation we had, was that uh, really penalties gave them their first score. It's not like they drove the ball down the field on us. So we got to make sure we, you know, we don't give them the easy first downs. To your point, Coach, with the penalty, one of those huge targeting call on Sean Wade, he's not going to come back. He's a huge piece of that secondary. What is that going to do to Ohio State? How are they going to have to adjust? Because obviously Trevor Lawrence, one of the yeah, best. Yeah, and you know, Trevor Lawrence, they hand it to him. The guy's been taking some hits. He really has. Uh, he gets right back up. He's a big old boy, 6'6", six, six, you know, over two, 220 uh, and all that stuff. But, you know, we had the same situation kind of against Michigan where we didn't have, we weren't full uh, uh, 100% with all the secondary guys. So we have to, you know, we're used to that. We got enough depth, which has been one of the reasons we've been so successful this year. We have a lot of depth on this football team. You gave us your keys to the victory of Ohio State for the entire game. Now that you've seen a first half, what are your keys and how have they moved or how have they adjusted? Yeah, well, let's look at them. The first was we had to win the battle against their receivers, and we've done that. And actually, one of their best receivers, T. Higgins, is out of the game. So we've done well there. Uh, second thing was the mobility of Justin Fields. And he's you can tell he's not 100%. He's probably around 75%, 80%. He made a couple of key runs, but he's going to have to make some more runs. Uh, and then the running game, again, that's something we, I get back to running the football, uh, moving the chains, our run the football. We, we're too many second and third longs right now. To your point, that second quarter, J.K. Dobbins had one rushing yard in that second quarter. Compare that to the 141 he had in the first quarter. And as we move ahead, what do you think, will, because it's going to be a close yeah. game, it looks like, here in the second half. What's going to be the difference between an Ohio State win and an Ohio State loss? Well, team? first of all, I think Clemson, they got smacked in the mouth. And they, you know, they hadn't been hit like that all year. And they realized this team, Ohio State team's real. 
So, but what they're having to do to stop the run, if you've noticed, they've been really bringing the defense up, some of their uh, defensive backs up to help on that run support. That will end up burning them, I think, in the second half. When they do that, we'll be able to throw over top of that. If we loosen them and have some success and loosen them back up, the running game will come back open. Well, we'll see if they can get that done. But right now, 16 to 14, a two point game. It looked like it was going to be an Ohio State dominating win, and that is no longer the case. Coach Conley, thank you so much for your time. Christine, I'll send it back to you from Phoenix. Justin hey, Justin, I got one more question you. for you. You were talking about the difference between the first sure. quarter and the second quarter. What was the fan reaction like in there as they, you know, had a really good first quarter, but then the, the second quarter, not so much? What's it like for the fans in there? Yeah, it seemed like kind of like a parade, like a victory celebration had already happened and we were only in the first 15 minutes of the game, but it kind of shifted to when they started calling those penalties. The booing just continued, even as Clemson was scoring touchdowns. You could still hear Ohio State boos mixed in with Clemson cheers. So the fans maybe have become more nervous as they were before the game. I, I said to Jared that they were cautiously optimistic, and I think maybe that's now the case. They were maybe more confident after that first quarter, and then they saw the second quarter, and uh, they're starting to bite their fingers and maybe thinking back a little bit to that 2006 16 game where they lost to Clemson by 31. Yeah, that was that was not a fun game for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it's been much it's been much more fun for fans so far. Obviously, you know, you have the lead, so it's not all bad. It's just they need to get some of that momentum back. And as coach said, they need to develop that pass and get back to running because running the football was key for them. It's going to be key again in the second half. All right, Justin, thank you so much. We will see you later on tonight. All right, back here with Coach and me here in the uh, in the studio. Uh, Coach, what is that ejection going to mean? Um, it, do you think it's going to hurt the defense too bad? That's, that's a big talker on the Internet right now, and uh, fans aren't pleased with the officials <laughs> on that call. Yeah, I think it's a questionable call because what happened, Trevor Lawrence, actually lowered his head and, and Sean ran into him. Uh, and that's one of the unfortunate things about that rule. Um, and, and, you know, that's the way it's the breaks of the game. Uh, but, of course, again, they've got some players banged up too. So, you know, that's part of the game of football. That's why each, each team is important to have depth. I really still think we have more depth than they do. So, in the long run, uh, I think it's in our favor. All right, Coach, anything else? Anything else that's really been – all right, Coach, anything else? What's been really standing out to you? I know a lot of the fans are saying that the Buckeyes are just getting started. They still have faith. Uh, what, what, what's, uh, what do you think? You saw faith in the Bucks? Yeah, I think the first series of the second of half is going to be really a measure of that, how we, well we do in stopping them and getting the, the football back and putting a drive together. The third quarter of this game is going to be the key. Who takes command in the third quarter? All right, well, hopefully that is the uh, the Buckeyes. That's what Buckeye Nation certainly wants to see. Um, let's actually, I'm going to show you guys, we've got some photos going on right now, a slideshow of what's happening, and I'm going to pull up some tweets in the meantime. These are some first half photos that we have scrolling across your screen right now. I'm going to pull up some tweets that I have going on here. Um, just talking about those calls. And like you said, Coach, it's a lot of people saying Trevor Lawrence ducked into that hit, and they're saying it's a terrible call. Another person saying uh, that it was complete trash. I've got a tweet up here. These are uh, fan reactions from that ejection, and we will definitely have more on that um, coming up here. W what do you expect here um, back on us here? Again, second half, do you think um, – you know, uh, Clemson's going to have the ball, right? Are they going to come out guns blazing, or do you think uh, the Buckeyes are going to be able to stop them? Or you know, how important is that that they do stop them? Well, the important thing is we've got to stop the quarterback run. Uh, we've really done a pretty good job of containing their running back, ETN, uh, and really the passing game had hurt us too bad at all. But Trevor Lawrence has hurt us with his feet. And so, you know, he's a guy that we're going to have to have somebody now assign him, a linebacker or somebody assigned to him on each play because if he escapes the pocket, he can make first downs with his feet.